Let me tell you something most people won't say out loud. Disney doesn't win because they have expensive software. They win because of how they work. And here's the good news. You can copy that exact workflow. Even if you're working alone, on a laptop, with free software. I'll show you how. By the end of this video, you'll know. The Disney workflow simplified. How to translate it into a solo creator pipeline. And how to stop feeling like you're bad at 3D when the real issue is your process. But there's one step Disney uses that most solo artists completely skip. And skipping it is why projects feel hard. Before we talk about Blender, Rigs, or Rendering, we need to talk about thinking like a studio. Because once you understand that mindset, everything else becomes easier. Disney's pipeline looks like this. Story, layout, animation, lighting, polish. Most beginners do the opposite. They jump straight into modeling, then rendering, then wonder why it doesn't look right. The secret isn't more tutorials. It's the order. As a solo creator, story doesn't mean a full script. It means what is this scene about? What emotion should it create? What's the one idea the viewer should feel? Write it in one sentence. If you can't explain the scene simply, it won't look good in 3D. Planning a story before creating 3D artwork or animation ensures the final piece engages viewers emotionally and visually, especially for solo creators managing all aspects alone. This upfront focus prevents wasted effort on misaligned assets and guides efficient workflows. A strong story acts like a roadmap. It helps you decide what scenes to build, how characters move, and what the final message will be, saving hours of trial and error in tools like Blender. Stories connect with viewers by adding conflict, growth, and feelings. As a solo creator, this makes your animation memorable and shareable turning technical skills into art people care about. Planning the story first spots problems early, like weak pacing or boring parts. For one-person projects, this keeps you focused and avoids burnout from endless revisions. That's how you're trading for the race? Be certo. Your reign of terror is coming, coming to, to an, an end. end. You mean like a year ago, when you quit in the middle of the race because you couldn't stop Throwing up? I didn't quit. They made me stop. I think that is worse. Now, go away. I'm having fun with my new friends. They're coming with me. Hop on. I can use the extra weight. This is the step that changes everything. Disney's layout workflow uses simple shapes like cubes for characters to plan animation poses, camera angles, and basic movement before detailed modeling. In Blender, Solo creators apply this by blocking out scenes quickly with keyframes for rough timing and motion. This pose-to-pose -pose method helps focus on storytelling without perfection early on. Layout means rough camera angles, basic blocking, simple shapes, no details. In Blender, this can literally be cubes for characters, a camera, keyframes for movement. If layout works, everything after becomes easier. If layout is bad, you're fighting your scene the entire time. They often use pose-to-pose -pose animation, creating key poses first for clarity and planning before filling in details. This contrasts with straight ahead for fluid motion, but ensures the core idea reads perfectly before refining timing, overlap, or exaggeration. Without initial clarity, later perfections like arcs or anticipation confuse viewers, breaking immersion. Disney's method builds believable physics and appeal on a solid foundation, as seen in classics where every frame communicates unambiguously. Friendly, see? I'm a friend. See? We're all friends. I'm friendly, see? I'm a friend. See? We're all friends. Disney animators don't animate details first. They animate. Timing. Weight. Poses. As a solo artist, your goal isn't perfection. It's clarity. Block your animation. Let it feel right before you polish anything. 
Disney animators prioritize clarity first to ensure the audience instantly grasps the story, action, and emotion without confusion. This approach stems from the 12 principles of animation developed by Disney legends like Ollie Johnston and Frank Thomas, particularly the principle of staging, which focuses on presenting the idea clearly and compellingly. Staging makes the purpose of a scene unmistakably clear by centering characters, using strong lighting, and minimizing distractions. Animators achieve this through clean silhouettes, like Mickey Mouse's always equidistant ears and a strong line of action that conveys intent in a single pose. Here's a secret. Most Disney shots use very simple lighting. One main light, one fill, one rim. Lighting isn't there to show everything. It's there to guide emotion. If your lighting feels confusing, you probably added too much. Disney uses a structured lighting process in their animated films to make scenes look real and emotional. Animators start with foundation lighting to set the overall mood, like sun direction and time of day, then add key lights for main subjects. This creates depth, highlights characters, and matches the story's feelings. Foundation lighting builds the base for whole scenes or sequences, ensuring consistent tones across shots, as seen in Disney films like Encanto and Strange World. Key lighting then focuses on characters and objects, using strong main lights to add volume and emotion. Shot lighting finishes each frame, handling shadows, reflections, and camera moves for perfect immersion. Disney animators often use three-point lighting, a strong key light at 45 degrees for the main glow, a softer fill light on the opposite side to ease shadows, and a backlight for separation from the background. This setup makes characters pop and feel cinematic. Warm golden lights create cozy feelings, while cool blues build tension or isolation. They balance few clean lights for realism, adjusting color temperature and intensity to fit time of day or drama, like in Raya and The Last Dragon. Animate lights subtly to add life, always matching camera settings for cohesive looks. Polish comes last. Textures, details, effects. If you polish too early, you'll waste hours fixing things that should have been solved earlier. Professionals delay polish on purpose. Disney polishing also involves fixing small details like arcs and movements, overlaps in body parts, and timing of actions. They add squash and stretch for natural feel, especially in hips, head, and face during talks. Disney animators start from the body's core and work outward, using video references to boost acting. In films like Zootopia, they tweak jaw, cheeks, and eyes for organic expressions. This step turns basic poses into magical shots that draw viewers in, as seen in Tangled's flowing hair or modern Pixar films. It ensures every frame feels polished and alive. Now here's the real question. If this workflow is so simple, why do most people still struggle? It's not skill. The difference is patience with the process. Disney trusts the workflow. Beginners don't. They rush. They skip steps. They chase shortcuts. But once you commit to the order, your work improves faster, even with basic tools. If this helped you see 3D differently, subscribe. This channel is about thinking like a professional, even if you're working solo with Blender. In the next video, I'll break down a real Disney-style scene recreated entirely in Blender. Step by step. You don't want to miss that.